We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Ought to be a good one here between the Toronto Blue Jays and the Philadelphia Phillies. Rowdy Tellez the next to bat. And we are set for baseball here this evening. The 2 1 home. And this will miss as well. So he's in danger of losing the leadoff man here tonight. It's 3 and 1 now. And he lays off ball four. And the leadoff man is on to begin the ball game. Stepping in for the Jays, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Hit pretty well out toward right center field. Back goes Harper at the track, but he can't get to this one. It's off the wall. And they've really got something going here. Runners at second and third to start the inning. Batting third. The shortstop. Border. Here we go. Standing in now, Lourdes Gurriel. And here's a fastball not close as he runs it to two and one now. Line drive to left. And that's in there, base hit. Now it's cut off, a throw to the plate, but not in time as he's across with the run. That is good. The left fielder. To the plate now, to Oscar Hernandez. A little bit outside, two and one. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. From the stretch. Guriel gets his lead at first, nobody out. Now a swing and a ball hit in the air down the left field line. McCutcheon is under it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Coming to the plate now, Bo Bichette. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. And he takes two ball two, and it's two and one. And a half swing here, but this is in there for a cold strike two. And this misses, so that'll fill the count at three and two. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. 3-2 count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. There's Segura. The second for one. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Gene Segura standing in. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 2-2. And he struck him out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the former National League MVP, Andrew McCutcheon. Into his motion. Here comes the three and one. And he missed with that one. It's ball four. A one out walk here in the home first. Digging in now for Philadelphia. Bryce Harper. First shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. On the ground to third. Fielded cleanly. There's one. Relay to first in time. And just like that, the side is retired. Here's Randall Gritcher. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Here now the 2-2. He walked the guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Rendell Gritchett is retired to kick off the inning. 
Breaking ball called just a bit low. There's a change up taken, but it finds the zone on the inside. The 2 2. High in the air down the right field line. Harper on the run. And he makes the catch in the corner. That'll bring up Billy McKinney. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Billy McKinney. The 1 1 home. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Williams is under it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. And that'll bring up the Sacramento product, Reese Hoskins. Couple of hits for him in four trips in yesterday's game. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs. But it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. You got him to go down after that one, and it's two and two. Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor, and he's swinging a pitch that bad. Not good. Swung on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. One out. So next to the plate for the Phils, JT Real Muto. He had a couple of hits in yesterday's contest. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Under this one is Grichik, and there are two away now. So now to the plate, Didi Gregorius. His past history with Hunjin Ryu. He's a 375 hitter. He also has one home run. Count remains full. The next 3-2. Keeps fighting him off. The eighth pitch of the at-bat coming up. And he misses here for ball four. Already two walks surrendered in his first couple of innings of work. So it's a runner at first with two gone. And digging in at the plate, the Texas native Nick Williams. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. Ryu comes set. Here it is on a ball and two strikes. Swing and a liner. Two balls, two strikes to Nick Williams. Two out with the man at first. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two-seamer, and the inning is over. So in now is the Blue Jays pitcher, Hyunjin Ryu, as we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Fouled off. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. I don't know if that was discipline or whether he's just not swinging the bat at all, but hey, at least he's making the pitcher throw a few more pitches. Pulls this one in the air out to left. In there, a base hit. With that, the Jays put their leadoff man on to start the inning. The batter, number 44. Stepping in now, Rowdy Tellers. Two two pitches fouled away. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Off speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Lifted in the air to shallow center field. Williams comes on now and he has it one down. Next to bat for Toronto, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He scored a run after stroking a double in his first at bat. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. 
those are the pitches you only get maybe once an AB, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Into the now box back. now, Lourdes Gurriel. He was able to plate two Gurriel. with a base hit in his first appearance. One and two, here it comes. Line drive to left. And that'll get down for a base hit. Now batting, left fielder, Teoscar. In now, Teoscar Hernandez. In for strike two. One and two. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Hard hit ball to second. Throw on to first is in time, and the Toronto rally goes for naught as the inning is over. And in steps Scott Kingery. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Ah, changed things up on him and he got him to swing through it. One and two now. Swing and a soft liner, and this will be put away easily for the out. So the base is empty here with one away, and it'll be the pitcher up next, Aaron Nola. Here's the one and one delivery. And it's fouled away. To two balls and two strikes now. Well, two straight fastballs inside haven't put him away, so now it'll be interesting to see what he turns to. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. Batter, number two. And that'll bring up Gene Segura. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Up high. 2 and 1 now. Change up. Call to strike, and he comes back even at 2 and 2. Ryu looks in. Here comes the pitch. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Waiting on it is Hernandez. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Striding in, Bo Bichette. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Heading out towards shallow right. Harper has a read on it. One out. Now At the plate, Randall Gritchick looking to put Randall. the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. McCutcheon is under it. He hauls it in without any trouble. And there are two away. So striding forward now, Reese McGuire comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. The 2 1. That's lifted the other way out to left. McCutcheon is under it, and that retires the side. Stepping up now, Andrew McCutcheon. He drew a walk his first time up. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Waiting on it is Hernandez, and he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. Stepping in, Bryce Harper. Here now the 2-2. Bounce to the right into the loaded up infield. Bichette's got it. And there's out number two. 
Next to bat will be Reese Hoskins. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. No runs, no hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Ground ball right into the shift. And the Phillies are into the hit column. He'll get it into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. At the plate, Billy McKinney. And he misses two and one. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. You can bet they'd love ball four here. That gives the pitcher on deck an obvious bunt situation to move the runner into scoring position. Hit hard on the ground towards second. And a base hit, so early trouble to lead off the inning. The pitcher number 99, Young Jim. Ryu. So now to the plate, Hyunjin Ryu. And the pitcher is, in fact, bunting here as he puts this one down. Only plays to first, so the pitcher does his job as it's a successful now sacrifice. Number 44. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Rowdy Tellez. He flew out in his last at bat. <laughs> Taken, called strike two on the inside part of the plate, one and two now. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. And he tried to hold up that time. We'll get an appeal down to third, and no swing. It's ball three. The 3 2 pitch. Lifted out towards straightaway center field. Williams is under it. Two gone. And no tag at second. He'll head back there with two away now. So striding in, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Hops this one up. Segura onto the grass. He can't get there as it falls in. The throw home. And he is safe at the plate. And the lead is now three to nothing. The tag. And he's nabbed trying for two. Blake now, JT Real Muto. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. So one away here with the bases empty, and that'll bring up Didi Gregorius. And this ball runs away for ball two, two and one. And that's upstairs running the count to three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. And another foul ball. Swung on and hit in the air to left. Hernandez is in pursuit. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. Up next will be Nick Williams, looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at-bat. Here now the 2-2. Is swung on and missed. He got him. Victor Arano takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. for the Phillips. Number 64. Victory. Top half of the sixth about oh, to get started. Oh. Digging in to try it again. Mortis Guriel. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Boy, that's a jam shot right there. That's as good as it gets, in my opinion. Woo! Up and in. And an off-balance throw is in time as he takes one away. Wow. Now about it. So that'll bring in Teoscar Hernandez. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. 
Ready on one and two. And now a slider in there for a called third strike. And there are two gone now. Now batter. Now at the plate, Bo Bichette. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. The 1 2. Rendell Gritchick would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Now the payoff pitch home. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side, but this is back into the seats of foul ball. Pulled high in the air out to left field. McCutcheon is under it. And that ends the inning. Digging in for his second at bat, Scott Kingery. He's 0 for 1 thus far. And he lays off a pitch down and away. Ball two. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed, then he's laid on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And he makes the throw to first. Kingery is retired, and there's one away. Davey Grion will move into the on-deck circle now to try to get something started here with one gone in the inning. Looked like the fastball got away from him there. It's ball two. Seared down the first baseline. He's got it, and he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. The batter, Stepping into the box, Gene Segura. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Philly shortstop in front of the count, 3 and 1. Andrew McCutcheon would be next. He doesn't want any part of that cutter, and it's full 3 and 2. Now the payoff pitch home. Hot shot down the line. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. And that gives Andrew McCutcheon an opportunity this inning with two out. And he'll get in there safely. Well, fielder, number 22, Andrew. Standing in now, Andrew McCutcheon. Grounded softly to the right. Barehanded on the hop in time. That was exceptional. He got the out and prevented the runner from having a chance to score. Sir Anthony Dominguez is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Randall Gritchick at the plate now. He'll start the seventh in what's been a fast moving pitcher's duel to date. Ready with the 1 1 pitch. Fastball swung on and missed as they set him down for the second time here tonight. Now Stepping into the box, Miss McGuire. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. High in the air and deep to straightaway left. McCutcheon going back on the warning track. He makes the catch. Ready once again, Billy McKinney. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. And a slider gets away from him here as it just about got him in the ankle. And he can't catch the corner here, so he's behind three and one. One thing that could nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. The pitcher, number 99, Young Jim. Into the box now. Hyunjin Ryu. And he fouls this one off. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. For the traditional
leading off the inning, Bryce Harper. And they'll need him to get something going here. He's starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. Gritchick is over near the stands as he makes the catch for the first down. And now it'll be the cleanup spot for the Phillies. Reese Hoskins, a hit in two tries for him so far. Ryu now on two and one. To two and two now. Something that stood out to me in this game is the lineup's lack of a solid plan at the plate. Seems like way too many guys are chasing pitches out of the zone and trying to hit pitchers' pitchers like that one down and away. There's no success in that. Again, he sends it out of play. Another 2-2 offering. You can certainly tell at bats like this one, frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Hit high and deep to right center. Richard is underneath this one. And there's the second out of the inning. So two are gone now in the Philadelphia seventh. And that brings up JT Real Muto. No runs, two hits, and no errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Fastball too low, and that's ball four. Here's Didi Gregorius. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Didi Gregorius. The 1-1. is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. Boy, he's been great in this one. He's only one strike away from putting another zero on the scoreboard. To two balls and two strikes now. Ryu comes set. Here's the two and two. And he struck him out. His eighth punch out of the ball game, And that one ends the inning. David Robertson has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Blue Jays lineup. Stepping in, Rowdy Tellez. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Swing and a miss as he goes back to the cutter here. Three and two. And a good take there will nut him a base runner as it's ball four now to start the eighth inning. Now batter. Third base. Striding in once again, Vladimir Guerrero Jr. He was thrown out at second trying to stretch a base hit into a double in his last at bat. The 1 1 home is strike two swinging. One and two. trying to pick up that outside corner but this misses and it's back to even at two balls and two strikes. Boy good cutting action to that pitch as that's the first out of the inning. So a runner at first now with one away and that brings up the exciting Lourdes Gurriel Jr. Blue Jays shortstop with a one and two count. Into the corner and slicing foul. The one two is swung on and missed strike three. Next will be the cleanup hitter to Oscar Hernandez. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah Maddie and hopefully he got it out of his system especially now he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot has to put the ball in play. The one two offering looked like a slider that time but it's two and two. Sent in the air out to straightaway central. Williams is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. Stepping up to the plate, Nick Williams, 0 for 2 on his line thus far. Now the 1 and 1 pitch. A couple strikeouts early in the game, but he's done a much better job in this at bat, trying to get ahead and put himself in a good hitter's count. Got a piece, it's 2 and 2. 
high and deep down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. Well, somebody's sitting off speed right here. Only way he was late on that heater is he was expecting another changeup. And that's in for a base hit. Make it a one for three games so far. So the Phillies get a man on to start out the inning. Now Justin Miller is the into the ball game player. now as he'll make his fifth appearance of the season here. To the plate now, Scott Kingery. No contact there, and it's one and two. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. And this one's in the dirt. And that's going to wipe away the possibility of a double play as the runner moves into second. Here now the 2-2. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at 2-2. Two and two. They really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Neil Walker will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Bouncer to the left side. Throw won't get him at first. An infield single, and it's first and third now. The batter, number two, D. Into the box, Gene Segura pulled high in the air out to left field. Waiting on it is Hernandez. He's there to make the catch, and here comes the runner from third, as this should get him on the board. And they are on the board. It's a sack fly and an RBI to make this a 3-1 to one game now. Here's Andrew McCutcheon now. Runner on first with two away. To the left side, but it's well foul. Takes this the other way to right, and that's in there. Base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Up next to Philadelphia. The right field. So now to the plate, Bryce Harper. And he takes one off the inside corner for ball two. And great extension as he drives this one high in the air and deep the other way. And they have taken the lead. Sam Gavilio enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. Number 43, Sam Gavilio. Stepping in now, Reese Hoskins. Oh, right down Main Street with that one, two and two. Wow, not sure what you're looking for right there, but that one was pretty. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Hector Neris comes on from the pen, hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Ready for another shot now, Bo Bichette. And it was quite a turn of events we witnessed in the last half. A lot of runs put up on the board, and we've got a very close game on our hands now. The short hit hard. And that is in the left field, so the leadoff man's aboard to kick off the ninth. The ball. The right field. Randall at the plate now. Randall Gritcher hit high and deep out to left. McCutcheon going back. It's out of here, and they've taken the lead in the ninth. Santa Maria. Man, not an easy thing to do, D. Rowe, to hit the bomb off these clothes. These guys pitching the eighth and ninth inning nowadays, they're tough to center and get anything for nothing off. Yeah, and certain home runs are just a little bit more sweeter than others. Taking a closer deep in a big spot, high velocity, nasty exploding breaking stuff, that's one he's not going to forget. The one-two gets him looking up around the letters. Adam Morgan enters the game with one gone in the top of inning number nine. Billy 
Digging in now, Billy McKinney. So far, two for three in this one. Looked like he got fooled on the speed there, two and two. Morgan is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. For a one-time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Fouled away. The next 3-2. Hit out towards second. Gregorius is there. And there are two away now. Joe Pennant will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Big hitting for the Blue Jays. Number two, Joe Pennant. One run game here in the top of the ninth. And the slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. You know, something to keep in mind, they're really burning through that bullpen. And this is only the first game of the series. Definitely could have an impact on the rest of the series, and maybe even the whole week ahead. On the move is Harper. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Ken Giles is the man called on to close this one and earn a save in the night. Into the box now, JT Real Muto. He'll lead things off against Giles as they're down to their final three outs in this ball game. Now the one and one pitch is looked at for ball number two. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. All even now, two and two. Now here's the pitch. Drilled on the ground is short. And through into left field, so the tying runs aboard to kick off the inning. Standing in now, Didi Gregorius. The ball and two strikes to Didi Gregorius. I think it's about time to choke up on that bat and get that foot down. He's awfully tardy right now. High in the air into shallow left center. Coming in is Hernandez. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first down. Stepping in and ready for another shot, Nick Williams. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. Can't keep that one fair, and now the count's full. Now the payoff pitch home. Fouled off. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Hit on the ground to third. Great effort on the dive, but it's through into left. Roman Quinn will be summoned now to be the pinch runner. At the plate, Scott Kingery. Fly ball right down the line and left. Waiting on it is Hernandez. And he hauls it down in the corner. Adam Hingsley will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Number 40, Adam Hingsley. And 
this will be a called strike two and trouble now as they're down to their final strike tonight. Not much you're going to do with that pitch right there. You have to catch it out front before it even breaks and even if you do that it's a tough pitch to keep fair. And it's fouled away. Philly down to their last strike. Now a hard liner toward short. And he'll put this one away. And with that, the ball game is over. Well, baseball is a game of streaks and runs. So a four-game skid happens to even the best of teams. The key is they didn't panic or press. They just came out here, played their game, and put the losing streak behind them like professionals are supposed to do. Well done. This evening's game comes to an end. 5-4 the final tally. Toronto came through when it mattered in the ninth on the way to the win. Sam Gavilio claims the win out of the pen his first. Ken Giles hammers down the save his fourth of the season. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskers, and you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Fans are finalized for tonight. First for the victorious Blue Jays, five runs on nine hits. No error. They left six men on base. For Philadelphia, four runs on eight hits. No error. They left six men on base. Time of the ball game, three hours and 12 minutes. Thank you for joining us here this evening. We remind you to please drive home safely.